What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to be giving you my origin story. So, I was born on May 27, 2003. My YouTube channel is Michael Starcy, but before then, it was Mikey the Math Wizard. That channel got to only nine videos, but this channel will get a lot more. I was born May 27, 2003. I will never do porn. I will not do anything that would involve nudity unless it's part of a game. So, my origin story, yes. After I was born, I started evolving from using a paper map to now a GPS. Back then, I didn't get a phone till about 11 years, ago, 11 years old. That was when I got my first phone, but that was a flip phone. Then I got two Androids after that, and then came this iPhone, which I'm going to be using. So, that's basically how I got a phone. So... Yes, my best friend's Veronica Hudis, but we didn't meet until 7th grade. Back then, I was in Oildale, but that part didn't last long. Apparently, Oildale is a bad place. Not everybody is sober. I say about 10% of people in Oildale are sober. The other 90%, they're just drunk, high, drugged. They are, they've been raped. They've also been homeless. So, not in my area. We don't bother homeless people. If we do, we just kick them out. So, my neighborhood, where I live right now, it's hard to tell where my location is, but I'm not going to give you my location. Over here, we don't get a lot of homeless people, but we do get a lot of droughts and heat waves. This is the time of year, at this time of the year, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos in my bathing suit, not being without a shirt. So, I might do a summer unit. Learning how to play basketball, or I could probably jump in the pool and do a little bit of stunts. Do you want me to do stunts, or do you want me to jump in the pool and just swim, be boring? Comment below. So, um, I'm also going to be doing games, a lot of games. So, I'm going to do stuff like funniest kid test answers, inappropriate names kids are named. There are funniest kid drawings, the world's easiest game. Sticking up Dustin's Marvel Part 2. There's a lot of new content coming up on the way. This is the best video I produced in about three weeks. Sorry I don't produce videos every day. I do not find the time. I am in high school. I am not like any other YouTubers who spend 24 hours a day making videos. I have to sleep because I am still growing. But pretty much I'm I'm going on vacation soon. So you might not see a video the weekend. It's going to start May 24th. Possibly earlier, but during that time, I will not be producing a video until I come back. I will have a it will be like a clip, so we'll have at least 10, 10 maybe 11 minutes full of nature and survival tips. Do you want me to do that? Comment below. So, after I was born, I was. I'm now in kin I was in kindergarten when I started learning about games. We learned with my ABCs. That was basically a bunch of garbage. So over time and once first grade arrived, we started learning how to count to one hundred, not doing those Luton threes. I did not like my first grade teacher. She was a jerk. She yells too much for completely stupid reasons. I went to Standard Elementary at the time. I blame my teacher for all the harsh things that she done, that she has done over the past year I was there. So after that, I went to second grade. Second grade, I learned how to write in cursive. My handwriting barely improved until about my fifth grade year. After second grade, I moved on to third grade, which I transferred to a new school called Beardsley, technically North Beardsley. Every day I went to go to Airport Donut Coffee Sandwich, which was, which was earlier Coffee Yum Yum Donuts. I went there every morning to get one donut as I drive on to my school. Over there, there's a carousels and lots of cool stuff. I was there till about the middle of my fourth grade year when I was transferred from Mr. Kimberlin to Mrs. Trowbridge into the other Beardsley. That school was a better school for me. My teacher was nicer than the ones back at Standard. So, there's Mrs. Trowbridge. Even though that she is a teacher, she does not take being strict in a fair way. 
She is very terrible at being strict. I don't blame her. I do not want a strict teacher. Every time that I need help, she'll give me the help I need. So every once in a while, she'd even give me a bucket full of clothes and rarely a toy. One time she gave me a dog that was remote controlled. I fell in love with that until eventually it broke. Curse you, Oildale toys. Those toys at Oildale are cheap and they don't really work. After my fifth grade year, my writing did start to improve. Because I went to Mrs. Clark in the next room over to learn how to write better. I practiced writing and if I didn't do it right, I did not get stars or stickers. When I get like five or six, I get a prize at the end. After that, when I graduated, even though I saw her twice, she gave me prizes twice. It didn't change until my sixth grade year. All my friends, like Paul, he moved out of the school during my fifth grade year. And my sixth grade year was better, but we had to start reading before even the, te the, s the AIDS got there. I'm not, talking about, I'm not talking about the AIDS, the virus. I meant the AIDS, like the TAs. So obviously I didn't like I did not like reading at the time. It was too difficult. I don't understand the point in reading. Then that all changed to tell when my seventh grade year came. I moved on over to Tevis from Oil Doll because in Oil Doll I wasn't allowed to transfer to Singlum or whatever that school is over there in Campus Park South. Once my seventh grade year came I met Veronica Veronica and then we became best friends from there. Her favorite color is rainbow. And basically, we, we just played games, had fun, broke the rules a little bit, learned our lessons. There are some times where we wrote on the walls, started changing genders just for fun, eating food off the ground, picking up a bird wing, basically anything. And then my eighth grade year came. Once that came, I started playing this game called Prodigy Math, and that basically started my gamer stuff. Once Project came, I decided to ditch all the board games and go straight to games. Video games. That's why I'm a gamer now. Once my eighth grade when my eighth grade year was here, Prodigy really changed my life. It taught me a lot of math. That's why I love math now. If it wasn't for Prodigy Math, I would never have played or liked math. My life changed from there. After my eighth grade year, we we start learning more about cells, which I did learn in fifth grade. So basically, that was just review for me. And then after my eighth grade year came, then we came to high school, Stockdale High School, where I'm gonna stay there. I was stayed. I stayed there for about two years still. My dad came here to Stockdale. Once my freshman year came, Veronica wanted to transfer to my school because BHS was cheap and they were stupid. And they didn't have the education that Veronica and I both needed to survive. So, Veronica is taking basic mathematics. I am taking pre-algebra. Both in the same math classes as last year. We did PE together. Did We invented this thing called Memory Lane. Still, we're going on about Grandmother Esther and the theme song, Everybody Hates Grandmother Esther. Still going on today. Then my sophomore year came, we started a, a band. One of the members had to quit and left the two of us here until we can find a third or fourth member. So basically that's the end of my origin. Did you like my origin? Comment below, but please make sure it's positive. I do not want no negative comments. Should I do another origin again? Comment below and all right, well, that's all for today, so I hope you liked this origin story. Be sure to punch the like button in the balls and subscribe to join the seat pack. I love you guys. Thank you so much. 